let's use our knowledge of Excel to study project management. So there are a couple of key concepts in project management, which we can illustrate nicely by using data tables, if statements, and rate tables. So what do we mean by a project? A project is made up of activities. We have 10 activities, A through J. And what you need to know about each activity are predecessors. What must be completed before that activity can start? So for example, activity A, C can start as soon as A is completed. And it will take three days. So you need a duration for each activity. What you want to know, given these predecessors, for instance, activity I requires E and G to be done. You want to know two things. How long will the project take, which is the time that the last activity is completed, which will be activity J. And also, which activities are critical? What makes an activity critical? If you make the activity take longer, let's say 0.01 days longer, then the project will take 0.01 days longer to complete. And we can use a cool data table trick to make this work out. So we're going to have an input cell for a data table here in G19, which will either be none or it will be A through J. When it says none, we will make none of the activities take any longer. But when it says, for instance, A will make activity A take 0.01 days longer, et cetera. It says B will make activity B take 0.01 days longer. And then by making the input cell to the data table be this cell, we can see what happens to the output cell, which is the time the project is finished as we make each activity longer and identify the critical activities, which I think are A, C, E, I, and J. Okay, so we need a column which will be new duration, which will be an if statement tied to what's here. Okay, so we would say if what's here, that's going to have to be dollar sign with F here, equals this cell, we're going to take the old duration plus 0.01, or we're going to take the old duration. Okay, so right now these will all be what they were before. But if I would put a B here, notice that, uh, sorry, we want 0.01. Should make it as small a number as possible. That should be plenty small. Okay, so if I do a formula text there, you can see what I do. Okay. So when there's a B there, and it's not case sensitive, so something like that. Now that's a C. The C takes point on one. If that's the word none, then nothing takes one. Okay, now we want to figure out the time each activity is finished. So we could use range names here. If I put in A done and then a B done, I could use flash fill. And then I can use these as range names for the time each activity is finished. So in other words, if I would go here and do formulas, create from selection, okay, names and right column. So I've got, got range names A done, B done, J, so J done. And now I want to name these new durations by the Activities, in. formulas, create from selection, names in uh, right column there. A little bit unusual. But see, now I've got range names that will make everything sound, I think, a little look a little nicer. Okay, now when will we finish activity A? Well, we can finish it as soon as A is done. There are no predecessors. When can I finish activity B? As soon as that's done. Okay. No, it starts at time zero. Now, when can I finish C? Ah, I need A to be done. So it would be A done plus the time it takes to do C. Now, when will D be done? Ah, you got to finish C, which is right there, plus you got to do D. Okay. Now, I'm going to make this, let's say, a C. Let's see if that's on the critical path. I think it is. Okay. Now, when will E be done? Well, you need C to be finished, and then you've got to do E. Now, when will F be done? Ah, you need B and C to be done. So you can't start until B is done. You have to take the maximums, and C is done. And then you're going to have to add on, I guess, the length of time it takes to do F. That looks right. Now, what about G? G can be done to start when D is done. And then you've got to do G. Okay, now when can H be done? Well, you have to finish E and F. So it's the maximum of E done and F done. 
And then you should add the length of time, I guess it does, to do H. Okay, when will I be done? Well, you need to have E and G done. So the max of when E is done and G is done. And then, of course, I need to do I. Now, when will J be done? It would be the maximum of H and I. Here's H done. And I done. And I've got to add J. Okay, so the project would take 20.01 days if C takes a hundredth of a day longer. Now, if I put a none there, it takes 20 days. Okay? Not case sensitive. So now I can do a one-way data table. So the output cell will be the length of time it takes to do the project. And then select the table range here. Go data table what if analysis. The column input cell, the none and the A through J should pop right into here. Okay, and now the critical activities are going to be A, C, E, and of course the project takes 20 days of nothing that takes longer. I and J. That is really cool. Now one thing I should caution you on, in real life you don't know the duration of an activity. And so you need to model the uncertain duration of activity which makes you talk about not critical activities but the probability each activity is critical. Hopefully we'll get to that in future videos if we study Monte Carlo simulation. But I think this is a really incredible use of data tables, if statements, and ranges. And we use flash stuff, right? Okay, so thanks for watching. And, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston. Um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews. Uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here. And you can sort of see 4.5 or his newest book, his analytic stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21 day course from Dr. Winston. Um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.